Hey, what's up everybody? Nola Deej here, coming to you from New Orleans. I'm on a mission to find some of the old brewery buildings, some of which have been repurposed and some still abandoned. Come check it out with me. This old building is located down on Jackson Avenue and it used to be owned by the New Orleans Brewing Company. It was part of a larger complex that formed from six smaller brewing companies in 1890. This seems to be the only building that remains from that complex. It looks pretty intact. I'm not sure what's on the inside, but I love that you can still see the name of the company on the side of the building. Maybe it'll be repurposed for something else in the near future. I'd hate to see it torn down. Not too far away is the old Falstaff Brewery building. This has been here since 1936. Falstaff closed its doors in 1978 after a strike, and the building sat vacant for the next 30 years. Up on top of the building is this neon Falstaff sign with a little ball at the top. The ball lights up with different colors, signaling different types of weather patterns, and the letters light up depending on the temperature. They'll go from bottom to top if it's getting warmer, and from top to bottom if it's getting colder. A developer bought the building in 2006 and converted it into an apartment complex. The sign on top was reconstructed and now it lights up again the way it once used to. I love these old buildings and I love the fact that you can actually still see the way the building originally looked when it was first built. You can still see a lot of the original brickwork and where some of the old doorways and windows and I-beams used to be. Just up the street from the Falstaff building is the old Dixie Brewery. It opened in 1907 and began producing Dixie beer until Prohibition in the 1920s. Because at the time alcohol was illegal, they produced other beverages. When alcohol became legal again, there was just too much competition and Dixie folded. In 1987 they were revived and they grew and strived up until Hurricane Katrina in 2005. The entire first floor was flooded and completely wiped out. That, along with scrappers and people stealing copper and whatever else they could get their hands on, they folded again. The building was undergoing a complete remodel and it is now part of a massive VA complex and will now be known as the Dixie Brewery Research Building. In 2017, the late Tom Benson, the owner of the New Orleans Saints, purchased the Dixie Brewing Company and brought the iconic beer brand back. However, it was being brewed and packaged in a different state. But before Tom passed away, he and his wife Gail announced their intentions to return Dixie beer production to New Orleans where it belongs. The new facility will be located in the old McFrugals building in New Orleans East, which was destroyed by a massive fire in 1996 and briefly housed a film studio a few years ago. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little land yap from this hoot at Go Pass a Good Time.